Hey everybody, welcome back to Ed and Heather's Kitchen. Yeah, it's been a while, sorry. Other things happening, but yeah, we're back. Today we're going to be making something called Puck Al Vin. Basically this is a chicken and red wine sauce. You're supposed to make it on the stove, it takes forever. Eh, no, I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to make it in a crock pot. Okay, well, as the British say, let's get cracking. Okay, here we are, back in the kitchen. Some of the ingredients that we have, and yes, I'm going to put all the ingredients down below as I always do. We have some bacon, we have some chicken. Over here we have some onions and garlic, nicely chopped up, yeah. Hidden away in the back, we have some wine, we have mushrooms. Oh brother, this is going to be good. So, first step, we're going to cook up the bacon. Now they say, yeah, three to four. Okay, that works. Unless you're like me. Then you're going to go four, six. All right, I like bacon. Hey, no, I'm not good. I like food. So we're going to cook this up. You've all cooked bacon. We'll be back. Here we go. The bacon is done. We don't need it thoroughly cooked. We're just heating it up. We're going to pull the bacon out. We're going to leave the grease behind. Food police, eat your heart out. Eh, the food police are going to be mad at me again anyways. That's all right. Okay, everybody. And while I'm filming... I'm going to try to keep out, keep it out, but you never know. You may hear our storm alert phone go off. If it does, that's because we have some thunderstorms out west. And they're heading our way. I'm not worried about it. We need the uh, rain. So let me get the chicken. Here we go. Chicken. Now all we're doing with this, we're going to lightly brown it. As you can see, I've floured it already. I'm going to reuse that bacon grease. I'm not going to waste it. We're not really cooking this. We're just browning it. We're going to let the cooking happen in the crock pot. This just adds a little bit more flavor. So, I'll be back when this is done. Hey, welcome back. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pouring out. Ooh, lovely. Okay, this chicken is done. Well, it's not done. It's brown. It's done enough for us. We're going to set that up there. Now we have some carrots. We have some onions in there, we have some garlic hidden in there, all nicely chopped up. We're going to start this cooking. Now my recipe calls for using butter on this, I'm still using the old bacon grease. Hey, I like my bacon grease, I'm not going to waste it. It calls for 12 ounces of mushrooms. I got 16. It works. I've got whites and I've got baby bells, portobellas. Now, this is going to take a while to cook up. Hey, get back in there. I'm trying to run away. I'm going to have to add a little bit more, uh, probably some butter to this, I don't know. We'll see. We'll cook it down. You'll see it when it's ready. Meanwhile, I may just go out and videotape some of this storm, especially if we have some more thunder. And we're back. And yes, it's still raining. Hopefully it'll rain the rest of the day. We need it. Now this unholy looking mess is done. It doesn't look good. But it sure smells good, and it's going to taste outstanding. Now, this whole thing, juices and all, in the old crock pot. I'm 
Now I'm sure I'm gonna hear one or two people, maybe, ask why aren't you using your Dutch oven for this? Because it's hot out. I don't want to add more heat to the uh, trailer. Okay, we got that in there. It's all your veggies. Now we're going to throw our brown chicken in. See why I said the chicken was done even though it wasn't. Now this is a very, this is an older, kind of traditional French dish. Coquel Van is actually roosters and wine. Now, we're going to top that with the bacon. You didn't think the bacon was going to go to waste, did you? Yeah, this is roosters and wine, but you know, it's real hard to get roosters. Now, if this is a rooster, it would cook all day. No, we're just going to cook it for about six hours. Some chicken stock. Red wine. Oh. Turn that up on low. Let me go get the cover. And this is going to kind of settle in. And it's going to cook for the next six hours. So, guess what? I'm not going to set up the uh, camera and make you watch this for six hours. I mean, I'm not cruel. Besides, you don't leave. Hmm. Okay. I'll be back when this is done. See you in six hours. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You can't smell it. Too bad. It smells great. Doesn't look too good. But, oh, does it smell good. Just don't fog up the screen. I ended up adding some extra wine. I'll have that in the... Uh, recipe. Don't worry. Just going to serve this up with some rice. And, yeah, I will have to apologize ahead, but we are going to taste test. Now, believe it or not, I've never made this before. Look at that chicken. That chicken looks good. Oh, good lord, it's more like a stew. Oh, look at that. And it's hot. Want some juice, some veggies. Alright. Look at that. That chicken looks. Oh, that chicken's just falling apart. I gotta give this a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Heather? Yeah? Let me give you a piece here. You can taste test it. Yummy. One little hint about this, people. Use the strongest flavored red wine you can find. Mmm. But, oh, is this good? <laughs> I'll be making this again. All right, everybody. We'll be back. I don't know when. Not sure what we'll make, but it's going to be fun. It's going to be good. Until then, play with your food. <laughs>